video is going to cover everything that you need to know about the Ableton Live Audio Effect Auto Pan. Note that the light version of Live does not come with Auto Pan. So with Auto Pan, you can automatically pan a track, create a tremolo or an amplitude modulation effect, and create a synchronized beat chopping or sputtering effect. Auto Pan has two LFOs which modulate the amplitude of the left and right channels with sine, saw, triangle, and sample and hold, also known as random or noise. The shape control pushes the waveform to its extremes. The max setting sometimes makes what looks like a square wave. Two settings in the bottom left are normal and invert, which will flip the waveform. So now you can have both an up and down sawtooth wave. The rate control alters the LFO speed. It can be set to hertz or synced to the song tempo. Both LFOs run at the same frequency and are controlled with a single rate knob. The phase control offers movement in the stereo field by offsetting the waveforms relative to each other. 180 degrees allows the LFOs to be out of phase perfectly. When one reaches its peak, the other is at its lowest point. You can also set it to the maximum and minimum value so that the waveforms line up, creating kind of a wobble effect. If you want the effect to be more or less prevalent, then you can change the intensity by raising and lowering the amount knob. The offset changes the starting point of each LFO and its waveform. The program itself does a really good job of visually representing what's going on. I use it a lot to quickly help fine tune parameters. The controls are pretty straightforward, especially with the visuals helping you out. If you enjoyed this video or the music featured in it, then check out Soma on Facebook, Twitter, and SoundCloud. I really appreciate everyone's continued support. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without it. So for more engineering, production, or Ableton tutorials, check out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And one last thing, never stop making music.